Arsenal, nerves of steel, mm -hmm. championship DNA. I, I, I don't think I've seen this. I'm, I was pleasantly surprised by Arsenal this weekend, especially after they went down by the second goal. I thought, wow, this game is done and dusted. And then party gets a goal, and all of a sudden, it's wave after wave of attack. Yeah, yeah. I mean, watching a team that is trying to win a title, what were your biggest standout points from that game from an Arsenal viewpoint? Uh, for me, it's the, it's the mentality. It's the mentality because um, yesteryear, Arsenal would have absolutely crumbled um, after going down by two goals to, um, to zero. And the fact that it came in, in such quick fashion mm -hmm. um, that you start a game and you have a guy like Phil Billing score the fastest goal in Premier League history. That, that for me, yeah, it would have... Was it? Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's the fastest. 11 seconds. No, yeah. the fastest is about 7 seconds. 7 seconds. Well, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So, for me, yeah, that, that, that tells me that the mentality bit has worked for Arsenal. And it just gives them the chance to, the edge in, in the title race for me. Because that's the only thing for me that was, I, I saw as uh, missing from, from in their locker. Because quality-wise, they are on point. Mm -hmm. uh, coaching, yes, Ateta, he's... Um, sometimes he does show um, some glimpses of greenness about him. But at the end of the day, if your mentality is not, is not right, you, because mm -hmm. you are going to face adversity, yeah. if your mentality is not right, there's no way you can be um, a lead title winner in this EPL mm -hmm. and with, this, with all this quality involved and the kind of coaching and the kind of um, materials, playing materials that you have um, dispersed all over the league. But, and you have to look at it from this point of view that Last season, looking at the way Arsenal crumbled mm -hmm. and missed out on the top four uh, place, coming into this season, I honestly believe that they will still be suffering from um, elements from that, that failure. Yeah. And for them to be able to have this run where they've stayed atop the league standards for a very long time, yeah, there was a little bit of a shaky uh, moment, um, losing to Everton mm -hmm. and getting I think that think they've gone top. They've not let go. Yeah. Yeah. So, so they, had a, they had that bad spell after the United victory. They went Everton. Everton and I, the, think, I think they drew with yeah, Brentford. Brentford. Yes. So apart from that shaky bit, yeah, they've, they've been on point uh, pretty much the entire season. And for me, this, this just buttresses the fact that um, they've worked on the one thing that was affecting them all these years, and mm -hmm. that's the mentality. And being able to do this, yes, it's born more them. They are struggling um, for a place in the Premier League because they are in the relegation. Um, battle, strong relegation battle. But the point is, you only have to be what's in front of you. And looking at the circumstances, the circumstances is very important. You have to look at the context. Mm -hmm. How they managed to get back into the game and dig out a win. Yet for me, it, it shows that Arsenal is primed and ready to win the title. And this isn't the first time this has happened. We've seen Zinchenko score mm -hmm. a similar kind mm -hmm. of goal from mm -hmm. the edge of the box, yeah. from a corner kick. And he pulled out a goal, and Rhys Nelson came off the bench and delivered that kind of um, uh, winner for them. Yes, Arsenal is primed and ready to win the title. And, and I'll be I shocked if they, if they end up missing out on that title win. Yeah, I just want to add something. That I said, I've been saying it for a few weeks now, that I trust them against the smaller teams. So when they went two goals down, I was shocked. Yeah. I really, that, I was so surprised. And I, wa I wasn't watching the game, but I was kind of monitoring the score, kind of. So when it was about 2-2 two, two on 95, kind of closed my phone and said, they've dropped their points. And honestly, for me, I felt that, that this was going to be a turning point, that losing this game yeah. was going to open the door for Man City. And so, I went, no so I went about my business. I was a bit busy. Opened my phone about 30 minutes later, and I saw they had won the game. I said, look, if they keep going like this, never giving up every moment, yep. keep getting yep. those results. I don't see, because for me, I felt that when they get teams they're supposed to beat, nine times out of ten, they will do beat it. Them, yeah. And I feel like Man City are in a place where they only do it seven or eight times out of ten. And that would be the difference in the title mm. race. And they keep showing it, because they fought back against yeah. Villa. They fought back this week, too. So it looks like even if you take the lead, it doesn't matter. Yeah. They will take the three goals down. And for me, that Ramsdale save was uh, quite pivotal. Yeah. After they went down by a goal, that Ramsdale save, mm -hmm. had they... Had it was they, a big save. It was a big save. And... People um, take it for granted. These are key elements in determining the outcome of games. Mm -hmm. a, for instance, I'll give you an example. In the FA Cup game um, between Man United and West Ham, West Ham went up by a goal. And um, Mikel Antonio, he had a chance to score West Ham second. He mm 
he ended up missing that opportunity. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. Yes, David De Gea made a good save. He ended up missing that opportunity, and it ended up costing them a, a win. Yeah. So for me, those um, pivotal moments, yeah, they are very key in determining the outcome of games. Yes, and my hats off to um, Ramsdale for pulling up that save. It Arsenal, was very important. three points, good space between them and Man City. I'm sure they are happy.